Einen wunderschönen guten Abend aus Saint Baudel vom Chateau de Colomb zu einer neuen Episode von Journey to the Chateau. Was für eine Woche. Bonsoir à tous et bienvenue à Journey to the Chateau de Colomb à Saint Baudel. And now to our English speaking friends around the world, uh, another episode of uh, Journey to the Chateau. And we had quite a week. So, welcome. like to talk about, real quick, uh, incredible, overwhelming, wonderful kindness that we have experienced. And uh, it was people subscribing to Patreon. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a lot of supportive um, emails we have gotten. And Then was something happened that was really unexpected. So, one of our viewers who also have, has a vlog, and we'll get to that in a second, um, she watched the vlog and... Our, la our la vlog from last week. Yes, with right. the roof collapse. Right, and the Vashari roof collapsing, yeah. And she realized that um, despite the laughter, there was some panic here in the background. Because in is the roofs here are very different compared to, for example, the United States, where you have plywood underneath. Right. If there is a storm and wind hits these tiles, once there is an opening in the wrong spot, it can clear off your entire roof. Right. So roofers are nine to twelve months out here in terms of being booked. So we could have someone and say, "Hey, could you put a tarp on it?" Yes, but then they can fix it like next. July, August, next September. Year. Yeah, uh, year. So it was, uh, let's just say it was stressful. And right. when they bought their property, and it is a property in the beautiful town of Linier, only 15 minutes away from us, they had a roof that had a, a hole in it in one of the uh, barns. Mm -hmm. And then that, there was a storm and that roof got bigger. Uh, that roof, no. <laughs> the roof <laughs> didn't get bigger, no. <laughs> <laughs> the, the hole got bigger and bigger. Yeah. And she uh, remembered how her husband was having sleepless nights. And yeah. she contacted us and uh, said, you know what, how about we're coming by and having, we're having a look. Maybe we can help. Right. And they did on Friday. And um, so that was Jane and Tony with their son-in-law, Paul, came over to have a look. I'm currently in the courtyard of the chateau. And we had some good news that Jane and Tony from Not Quite a Chateau are going to stop by this morning. And uh, they're going to see if they can help us with the roof of the Vacherie. So uh, what Patrick and I are doing before then is we're going to see how many tiles we can salvage. And we know that we've got some tiles that are uh, around in different buildings. So we're going to start collecting those up. Uh, so we have all the good tiles ready for when they get here. So, and one of the first places that we had one was in our utility room. Let's see, okay. Yes, we had one here. So, this, I believe, are the tiles we're looking for, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this one with me. And Patrick told me that there are some in the workshop. Oh, yes. Okay. 
Um, yeah. Okay. I think those are those are the same. I think. And he said to look somewhere in the fig tree courtyard. Okay. It's a fig tree. Okay, this is, this must be it here. Let's see. Yep. It's one. And, uh, a broken one. Uh, hello. Uh, hello. <sighs> I just realized I was, uh, well, I got the ones that fell down, and it's quite a height that uh, the ones that fell down and are not broken. I got them out, right. and I started to put up, put, pile up the broken ones, and I thought, why am I doing this? So I'm piling them up, and then I have to put them in the, uh, the wheelbarrow. So right. I just emptied this. Okay. And emptying the wheelbarrow for viewers, that's like a five-minute walk. Yes, yes, it is. Okay, so let's see that one. Well, I don't know. Maybe they can. Tony can might be able to tell us. I think they have to be fairly complete to put them up. So I think we have two more here. Then and we'll get those over with the others, and then I'll go back and get the three that I found earlier and of course it's raining now and by the way the, i mean this is how far they came down i mean how far yeah. away from the uh barns they are yeah yeah this so there are some that have just slight brokennesses and then of course the right that are completely shattered and I don't know if do they have to be completely complete to use or I don't know. I said maybe Tony never, Tony might be able to tell us that. Never done roofing, so. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna get the I found three others, so I'm gonna go get those and bring those here too. Awesome. That's wonderful. I, I haven't looked in there. Okay. Um there's some over There might there. be some in there too, yeah. And the nice thing is, Perusson, Equis, and it has the Mondial model déposé, so it actually has the model number and everything on it. Okay. okay. Goodbye.
uh, I, I well, we, we find it really hard to express our gratitude. It is yeah. mind blowing, truly mind. It, I, I, it's it's beyond anything um, we, we would have ever imagined. Yeah, and it it's um, Jane and Tony and Paul have. Uh, good Lord, it is... They've taken so much stress off of us yes. by coming by with their generosity and helping us to repair that roof. It's... I it Really, I'm, I'm... You might find that hard to believe, but I'm, I'm, I'm kind of speechless. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, truly, uh, Jane, Tony, Paul, we, uh, we absolutely... Uh, we, we, we love you, and this is just amazing. And everyone, so, you need to make sure that you check out their YouTube channel. Yes. It's called Not Quite a Chateau DIY. And, it, and, we, and, I'll, we, and I'll put a link to it in the description and on screen, too. And we've been watching their, their vlog as well, and it's, uh, it's an old postal relay station. It, it's stunning. Yeah. Right off the river, right across from the Chateau de Ligne. Mm -hmm. And um, there is a lot about their... their uh, property that I'm really envious about and it was just so much fun to to exchange yeah. uh, you know uh, s stories and, and we're brand new here so <laughs> they have over two years on us mm -hmm. and they've been through a lot of, of these things and, and Tony's just a genius I mean he's one of those people who can put his hands to almost anything and yeah he can really <laughs> he, he really can solve a problem he's he is uh, uh, amazing. And yeah, Paul amazing. was just, uh, they, they started working and I felt like a spare wheel, a tire yeah. wheel, what, you know. Yeah, <laughs> I know. And so I said to Jane, they work really well together. And she said, oh yeah, they work together for years. Yeah. Da. <laughs> that was great. So it was really a weekend um, that was amazing. And on... Sunday, I had to drive Frauke back to the airport, and we're getting back to Frauke in a second. Right. There's a tiny little story. So we still had uh, roof tiles above our, well, there was uh, the old uh, uh, stable. Co coach house. Coach house stable. Right. And you remember, we, we took the camera up there, and we kind of showed you around the inside of the upstairs of the coach house. Mm -hmm. Right. And so, uh, and I had remembered because we did that vlog and because we did that video, that's when Patrick kind of precariously walks across the floor uh, in the coach house roof. Uh, I had remembered that I we, didn't know. when we when I panned across that there were uh, several different piles of roof tiles mm -hmm. that were up there, and I had remembered that. Uh, so we went back up there again to take a look when this happened, and that is where the majority of the tiles came from to replace the broken tiles for the mushroom. I think we were in, in the end we were one tile short <laughs> right they took from somewhere else but right. being up there so it was Sunday yeah. um, I had to drive Frauke back to the train station in Bush right and um, we would they, they finally knew how well finally uh, you know it, because it, they were so far advanced, they could actually give us an, an they exact could count, number. Count how many tiles they needed right. to finish the roof. Because yeah. then, then now we knew any tile that was broken or cracked that couldn't be used. Right. Uh, so we were like, okay, chop, chop, let's get this done. So uh, found another ladder in one of the outbuildings, which was great. So I'm up there, uh, Stuart is on the ladder, I'm handing him the roof tiles. He's handing them to Frauke. She puts it in the van. Um, and out of the <laughs> they hear a very loud noise. <laughs> yeah. So, all and, that, you... and that's, after, that's after Patrick had already said, hey, there's places up here where the, where the floorboards are really soft. <laughs> and so anyone who said, oh, oh you need no. to be very careful. I, I... So anyways, um, right leg, floor, went right through through the floor and it i'm it's just so there there was a beam and my big butt so i heard did not break through completely <laughs> and i did not get hurt at all it, nothing hurt no bruises so thank you <laughs> it, was, yeah. it was funny and i was just thinking darn why is there not a camera but it would, would have been really funny because you know no one got hurt um right so one of the other things is when they came back the second day, uh, 
Jane had brought with her uh, a photocopy that she had found. She had actually found a uh, print from a postcard, I think it was from a mm -hmm. postcard, mm -hmm. uh, of uh, Chateau de Cologne that we had not seen yet before. And it was sort of fascinating. So I will show you an image of what that looks like. So the thing that's different in this image that we've never seen before <laughs> is that the tower, one of the towers had a little dormer window in the tower. Yet another dormer missing, really? How many dormers can one miss? But apparently we do miss a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, so not a priority. No, but definitely on the to-do list. Sure. So we had, uh, we were fortunate to have uh, Frauke here. Oh my God. She did so much work <laughs> removing wallpaper. Yeah. And so a she, lot of work. Let me just say real quick that the week before she came here, her and her husband had their golden wedding anniversary, 50 years. And I actually, there was, at, at, at their wedding, um, there was no one in the family that was at the right age but me to, uh, so, uh, you know, to just, um, oh, good Lord. What well, he was, he was basically, I was the flower he boy. was the flower boy, basically, at their wedding. So what, what is that called? That when you put out, the, throw out the flowers for the bride and the groom? No, for the bride. Yes, it's usually, that's what the flower girl does. She throws the, the petals. Well, look at me now. So, I mean... So there, Any, <laughs> just, if anyone needs an explanation. Uh, so uh, Frauke is a remarkable woman. Boy, she's a worker. Yeah, she puts most of us to shame. I mean, yeah. even people in their 40s, she can put to shame. And so... So she started in the <laughs> dining room. That was the first room that she worked in. Yes. And uh, took her no time at all to get that dining room wallpaper well, it's it's it was a weave. It, it's a, a fabric right. weave, mm -hmm. and then it had this this big print on it, and it looked good on camera. But yeah. honestly, no. So she found the date that uh, very often craftsmen will uh, in pencil write a date on the walls. Right, and so we did see, uh, and you'll see it in the little video clip that I took. So somebody had uh, written a date from 1987. Yep. So it wasn't old on wallpaper. the wall. So that wallpaper was newer than 1987. Just so everyone knows. Oh, it was 1987. Well, yeah, <laughs> yes. Exactly. Unless they wrote that on the wall and then waited a year to wallpaper. But I don't. Yeah. So it was the 1987 is when they did the wallpaper in the dining room. And it looks amazing without the wallpaper. Yes. <laughs> what what Trump did. I mean, yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, and it it's so. Then Frauke said, what's next? So yeah. um, the, the Grand Salon, the, uh, the, the Pink Salon. Which we're in right now. Yes. We um, don't want to touch right now because Not there's right now. so much renovation to do in terms of crown molding and the ceilings. And so right. it said, how about uh, the Blue Salon? And whoop, went the wallpaper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I just, uh, I, I need to say Frauke is... Uh, not the tallest woman on the planet. <laughs> no. And she is like the, an energizer bunny. I mean, she has bounds of energy. And uh, it's it was such a pleasure to have her here. And I'm, I'm excited. She said she, uh, she, she loved it here and she's going to come back. So I'm really excited. Now, Frauke does not like to be on camera. So she always said, well, if I don't know that I'm on camera then it's okay. So I think Stuart has a little clip of her. I, I do. Um, we It was a sneaky one. We ended up taking her out to, uh, we took her out to lunch. Yes. Uh, and uh, there's like a, a little bit of a clip that I got where uh, Patrick was talking and I was able to kind of move the camera a little bit to get so you could actually see Frauke. One has to be sneaky. In the blue salon, when Frank was was taking off the wallpaper, so there is a a, a little decency door, right? We've showed you that from the, uh, the from the side of the, the alcove. alcove closet. Yes, you could see the door was still there, and we said we were going to open that back up. So with the paper down, 
uh, quite obviously where that door is at now. Yes, that is, it's, it's very true. We, we still have quite a bit of work to do to uh, get it free enough to be able to move it and open it up. So, But right now, you, we can, you can really see the, I will show you uh, in, in a later vlog, um, how it was actually constructed. So it's right. the, the, the wood construction, the, the beams with right. uh, the terracotta uh, walls. But what Franco found was the 1750s Tombleu wall r remains. Right. I mean, it's what remains of the of them, but the Tombleu wall painting she found. Right. So it's actually painted uh, to look like uh, panels. Yes, it's the same paneling. Like wood paneling. Uh, that was such a surprise. Uh, so that, that brought up, uh, we have a whole new discussion about now what are we going to do? It's like, so, so yes. we, we are going to do, <laughs> I don't know how far, how far we're going to go, but we are definitely going to do something to preserve at least part of that. So it's always there. Uh, visible for us and other people to see. And we have, so we, we already bought the paint for that room because we had a definite vision. Right. And all well, we need to see how well that paint works with right. preserving that uh, part. But it's, look, it's not like we don't have enough rooms where we couldn't use uh, the color palette we chose for that room. Right, right. But it, it was such a great find. Mm -hmm. And so, Frauke, we love you and we thank, uh, you, thank so you so much. much for your help. And we're looking forward to you coming back. Uh, just let us know. Plenty of more wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> so, one of the other things, uh, you know, with everything going on with, uh, you know, Frauke being here mm -hmm. and with all the stuff going on with the roof of the Vacherie, we really did not have any time at all this week to really go anywhere. Uh, no MIUs, um, no brocants, but we did get a delivery of something that uh, oh. was we had purchased online, correct? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and it's a, a beautiful pair of nightstands, yeah. which, which we absolutely love. Now, we, we got a lot of help um, with Jane, Tony, and Paul, and Frauker. And while we were doing this, uh, our wonderful neighbor, Wynette, stopped by and said, uh, with a big box of beautiful tomatoes mm -hmm. or tomatoes. Actually, it was a box first. Yes. And then we were talking and, I, and she said, how is it going? And because uh, I was working at the Jeet and I said, come on through. And we, I showed her the roof. And she just said, oh, mon dieu. Uh, <laughs> and said, oh, yeah, I, we have uh, a, a lot of um, tomatoes. And um, her son has a restaurant, or her and her husband's son. And she said, well, we have, have more tomatoes, but I, I know you, I, I'm pretty sure you don't want to cook. And I said, I always make homemade tomatoes. And she said, oh, can I drop them off? And she said, sure. Mm. Little did I know, <laughs> it was Two, two crates, big crates full of. I mean, we had eight weeks of like torching sun here, right? So, uh, she got uh, got us the tomatoes, and I think I spent mm, what eight, six hours, seven hours today, today, yeah, cooking tomato sauce. Yeah, I mean, fantastic. You know, uh, and it's it tastes like I have a whole pound of uh. Tomato paste in there? Mm -hmm. No, it's they're it, so it's, sweet. Yeah, they're so good. N not not uh, a grain of sugar in there. It, so, Monette, thank you so much. Yes, it was thank you, Monette. Phenomenal. Yes. And uh, so now, of course, you know, her son has a restaurant. I will give her a can of our our tomato sauce. I know it won't compare, but maybe she gets a kick out of it. <laughs> it's just something that she did not, or her and her husband did not cook. That they can eat. Right. So I think that's it for this week. Yes, it is. Uh, we can't tell you how grateful we are for all the help and oh, generosity yeah. we have experienced. Jane and Tony and Paul, that was fantastic. And Frauke and Monette and uh, our first patrons, thank you so much. Um, it was truly an amazing week. It was. Bless you. See you next time. Absolutely. Bonjour.
Auf Wiedersehen, au revoir. If you enjoyed this video, please use the like feature to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Journey to the Chateau YouTube channel if you would like to see more. Once you've subscribed, you can tap the notification bell in order to ring it, which will allow you to receive all notifications from our channel. Thank you.